Hi guys, uh, with this video, I'm starting a new series called User Defined Functions in Excel with VBA. Now, a lot of us guys know uh, uh, the normal built-in functions in Excel, and among others are like the if function, the VLOOKUP function, and so on. Let's look at a couple of these. You just call any function here, and let's look at the if, for instance. And this is a typical if. Uh, it takes three parameters. And for instance, logic test is, for instance, if you say A2 is, is equal to B2, what happens if that is true? Uh, it should say OK. And what happens if that is false? It should say not OK. OK? So that is a typical uh, if function. It takes three parameters. Let's look at another function. Let's, let's say the VLOOKUP. Let's go to all and slide down VLOOKUP. Did I miss it? Yeah, there it is. Now the VLOOKUP takes four parameters for it to work and, and so on. So basically now what we're gonna do, we're gonna build our own functions. And to build those functions, we have to build them in uh, Visual Basic for Applications or short VBA. And the way to do that is the following. Uh, we have to, first of all, go to the tab developer. Now, by the way, if you do not see the tab developer in your Excel, you can easily switch it on by going to File, Options, and then you go Customize Ribbon, and you um, uh, turn on that tab developer. Uh, by default, there's no check in that in that in that box so basically just check the box go to ok and you should be able to see the developer tab right go to the developer tab and go to visual basic and then you would have this window basically empty and now we need to insert a new module so that's our model we can even call it uh, whatever we want my own functions or let's call it first functions first functions okay and return right now it's called first functions and here we can start uh, inserting the code for our functions now to start a function you or to start off a function you type in the word function the keyword function, you always have to type that in. Then comes your function name. Let's call it my first. And then open paren. Now here come the parameters. In this case, our first function does not require any parameters, so we just close the, param uh, the, the brackets. Okay, so open parentheses, close parentheses. This here has is, is empty. That means our first function does not take any parameters. Yeah, you saw the if function required three, the VLOOKUP required four. Our own function here, in this case, doesn't require any parameters. So, and then, what does this function, or what's the type of uh, uh, output that this function uh, delivers? In this case, it's a text or string. So basically, as string, okay, and then I can press return. So, basically now, we just defined our first function with the word function. We gave it a name, we said it does not take any parameters, and it delivers a string. Or the output is of type string, and down here is then the end of the function. Now in between here, we write the code. We are gonna write a very simple thing, and we're basically gonna say my first. This is our, sorry, this is our variable. And so, what that means is we define a variable called my first, and this is equal to hello. Now, if this variable is identical to the function name, that means that this is the output of the function. Okay, so it, you'll see later on in in most complex VBA functions, in here you would have a lot of code, but at the end you would have a variable exa called exactly the same as the function and it has an equal and then something and this something is is that what your function outputs 
Okay, in our case, our function just outputs the word hello. All right? And let's test it. Now I can call my function in two ways. One is just equal my first open paren, close paren, and then return. And here we go, hello. Or I can also go here through the wizard and go to user defined, and you'll see here my first and just OK. It does not take any par uh, parameters. That's why we can't input anything. And then OK, and there you go, you'd have hello. So now we just define our first function in Excel with VBA. Let's define a second function. This one, the second one, would uh, convert meters to feet. Okay, so let's go back to our VBA. Again, I start with a keyword function, name of the function, m to feet, open paren. Now here, this time the function has to take a parameter, basically the metric sizes, the meters. So I just call m size, and m size should be, uh, be able to handle uh, decimal numbers. So basically, uh, these are called floats, uh, doubles, sorry, double. Okay, and the function itself also delivers a double. So basically here, you can see now, this function is different from the top. It starts the same function, it has a different name. It, in this case, it takes one single parameter, basically m size, which is basically the metric size that we wish to convert. This metric size is a double, basically able to handle uh, 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 decimal numbers and the function itself also outputs a double basically it also is able to output decimal numbers and here's the end of the function and now we, we define the output like I said the output is a variable called exactly the same as the function in this case m to feet equal and now we have to apply the conversion formula for um, for um, uh, converting meters to uh, feet, and that's basically m size multiplied by 3.28084, okay? This number I just looked up in Google, and uh, this is how, uh, to, when, uh, just, just input the convert the meters to feet, and you get this number, so basically you can gen, ba uh, just convert any metric size to feet. Right, that's it, that's the end of the function. Let's try it out. Let's call it. Let's let's put in our meters. Sorry, meters. Feet. Let's say I have twelve meters. I have twenty-five meters. And I have thirty-six meters. And let me have. Let me put some decimals. Twenty-five uh, point twelve and thirty-six oh four. Okay, and now I wish to convert that to feet, so I just called my function. Mind you, I've, I've put commas here instead of uh, dots because I've got here a German system, and in Germany, you, and instead of a dot for a decimal, you have a comma. But it shouldn't matter. I mean, it should work. If you have dots for decimals, it should work with you just as well. Right. Now, I can call my function. Here it is, under use defined, m to feet. And now, what's my m size? M size. I just got one parameter, and it just works like a normal built-in function. These are my meters, okay, and you see it just converted 12 meters to 39.3 feet, and if I autofill that down, I would have the calculations for the other numbers. So you see it's quite not a, not a bad idea to have a user-defined function because I don't have in Excel, I don't have a function which converts meter to feet, and now I just build my own. I can use it everywhere in that workbook to uh, do that kind of calculation. Okay, so it's not it's not that hard. Let's let's do our third uh, function for the day, and this one is supposed to calculate um, uh, the area of a quadrilateral. Okay, so basically, again, I go back to my VBA. And here, new function called uh, calc, calc area. And this one takes two parameters, 
length and I, I, uh, as integers. This time I don't want to work with, uh, or I know I'm not going to work with uh, uh, decimal numbers, so I'm just going to work with uh, whole numbers and as in, in integers. So integer, integer, there we go, just double click on that, comma, width as integer, and then close paren, and then what does that function deliver? It also delivers an integer. Okay, so and here we define a variable called exactly the same as the function itself. Calc area is equal to basically length times width. All right, and calc area, I just misspelled that, very important, there you go. Right, so that's my third function, calc area. And we can try it out. Let's put here some lengths, length, width, and area. Let's say. Now remember, our function can only handle integers, so I'm just going to input integers. Okay, let's center that as well. Makes it easier to read. Right, so I go to my function wizard, and here's calc area. And here you can see it takes two parameters. Length is this, and width is this, and here's the area, and I just drag it down. So you can see we just created three simple functions, simple functions that a lot of people need every day, yet they're not present in Excel, and we just created these using VBA. And in the next videos, I'm gonna, we're going to build more complex functions and I'm going to give you more uh, yeah, tips and tricks on how to build effective functions in Excel with VBA.